Welcome back, guys. Coach Barrick here, Equity Podcast, where we give you the tools to be fit for life. We're going to combine um, two books that I actually, oh, well, I'm reading one and I just finished another one. And I'm going to kind of combine two pieces of this book. Um, so I just finished Built to Move, finally. Um, I just kind of had to finish up the end. And they have this end section that just kind of like wraps up like what they're doing. Um, and what they're talking about is I th most people nowadays um, understand that exercise and movement is the best preventative medicine we have for heart disease, diabetes, some cancers, depression, obesity, all these things. Preventative medicine, right? This is how you l reduce your risk for those things. And um, he gives this uh, example of a, uh, this guy's name's David Spitz. He's the owner of Cal Strength. It's one of the YouTube channels where I learned how to do weight, Olympic weightlifting. Like, countless hours on his uh, YouTube page back in the uh, 2010s and his thing was never do nothing and Kelly and Juliet they use the always do something it doesn't matter what that thing is but you need to keep moving you need to keep doing those things whatever it is Chris and I just went for a walk. It was just the two of us. We just walked around the neighborhood, right? It was about 30, 33 minutes, somewhere around there, to be precise, 33 minutes and 20 seconds. Just went for a walk. We talked. We were outside. Got some sun. And we were moving. We were not doing nothing. If it's yoga, if it's Pilates, if it's Zumba, it, just move. Swimming, CrossFit, Orange Theory, it doesn't matter. Just do something. We need to be moving. Never not do nothing. I love it. <laughs> nothing like a double negative. And as I'm kind of finishing this book up, at the same time, I'm uh, listening to, I started reading and then switched to the audiobook, uh, Peter Atia's book, uh, Outlive. So I'm deep in the deep in the middle of that book and he talks about the four horsemen like these are like the four big causes of death um, that that we have and it's um, uh, cancer um, neurogenitive diseases uh, metabolic uh, syndrome and something else it doesn't really matter what the four are in that book, he talks about movement being the best medicine. Again, we're reiterating that movement is the best medicine. And he talks on top of that, make sure nutrition is part of that as well. The diabetes, heart disease, heart disease, that was the other one. All of those things, when you are at, you are at an increased risk when you have, when you're overweight, if you have diabetes, like all of those things, you're at an increased risk of cancer of all of those things. And by moving, by eating less, you are reducing your risk to get those things. It doesn't go to zero, but you're reducing your risk of those things. Not to mention all of the other benefits when we get to work out with other people, the relationships that we build, the mindset shifts that we get to have right when you start working out next to somebody on a consistent basis you build build a relationship with that person and social connection is one of those things that we need picking relatively heavy things up doing hard things this is going to help us fight those risks it's never not zero but we can improve our chances uh, we can reduce our risk of, of any of those things happen so, what my call is today is never not do nothing. 
it, even if you're not coming to equity, that's okay. Find something else that you're constant. Find something else to do. Right? Go for a walk and put a pack on. Right? Load that a little bit. I've talked about this a lot lately. Um, you know, play a pickup soccer game. You know, find a, an adult league to do something. Go up and down your stairs a bunch. If you're on vacation and you're staying or you're in a hotel for work or something, you know, climb the stairs a couple times every day while you're there. Like, that's something. You don't have to go to a gym or do some or do something crazy. Just go up and down the flight of stairs five times. That's not doing nothing. That's not not doing nothing. Never do nothing. Never not do anything. There's always a way to find something that you can do. Find that thing. So I, I definitely highly recommend both those books, Kelly and Juliet Starrett, um, Built to Move, super, super awesome book. Um, and then I'm still working through Outlive. It can be a little science-y, but um, I think it can kind of kick you <laughs> in, in gear. You're like, ah, I gotta get my I gotta get my stuff together. Start working towards better. We're not we're not gonna be perfect. We don't want perfect. Because that's not achievable. And we're not gonna be better every day, but we just wanna work towards better every day. Progress isn't linear. It's gonna go up and down. We just wanna keep working towards that direction. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you think if you have somebody in your life you think it might help, um, you know, share it with them. Um, let them know that you care and you want to see them expand their lifespan, their health span rather, expand their uh, health span and be around and do the things that they want to do and, and be fit for life and give them the tools to, to live that life that they want to live. I appreciate it. Cheers, guys.